Greetings everyone, Sourcaps, and welcome back to my Monopoly Man playthrough of RimWorld. Last episode, we got a new table back. This time we hopefully won't be betrayed. And we fended off a raid. And now we're going to send Dimitri out. I mean, take some chicken eggs, they're super light. I'll just, I'll let you take a whole day's worth of food with you. Two days, even. And then, as much jade as possible. Actually, how injured are you before I do that? Oh, they hit your arm. Alright, I'm gonna let that heal up first. Dang it. I was hoping to not. Must have been a pretty big hit. Yeah, geez, almost took your arm off. Mostly because of the weakened manipulation, I think, lower, lowers his carrying capacity a little bit. at each other. At least it's healing fast. eggs. You're hungry. I mean, it's not like a corpse. Alright, you're fully healed. You're relatively full. Now we're going to send you on a trade. Scan, I'll let him just take two days worth of chicken eggs. You know it's overkill. Wait. Forgot the cloth bed rule. Dimitri. Hopefully nothing terrible happens, but we just had a raid, so it should be a little bit for the next one. What I want to do is get him some backup wood in case things get cold or hot. What's this jade? Should be able to basically load up on wood. No, I'd rather get the 30. Okay. 5 herbal medicine, 30 wood. Oh, they're 
testing. That's why I gave him the better roll, just in case. What I should have had him do, and I forgot, is take all this stuff with him. That's okay. Because we'll be honest, I'm probably going to send him out again here in a minute. Although really wasn't anything there I wanted, so maybe I won't. Maybe this will be good for Dimitri's trip. Consume that, haul that. Oh no. Consume that, haul that. And is this not equipped to handle wood? Because it should be. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, now we've got enough steel for a research bench. I think what I'm going to do is move this. That way he doesn't have to be in dark so much when he does it. Not that it's particularly light out because of the fog, but in, in theory. And hey, research process. Now look at all these options we've got. Uh, the first thing I want is a passive cooler. Hold on, how much of this is home zone? I don't need all that to be home zone. I really only need, like... I'll give you one square outside of the base of home zone. Yeah, that ain't home zone. Not my home zone, bro. reason I wanted the passive cooler, same reason I wanted the emergency wood first. Okay, That's way far away from... We've never gone further than here. Yep, those are definitely thrombos. We're gonna ignore the thrombos. Slaver, huh? I somehow doubt the slaver is going to be selling anything I want. That's nice to have nearby. Who's in charge now, Phoebe? Well, let's see what the slavers have. I was wrong. I do want that medicine, but I don't have a place to store it right now. Ooh. But it's better to have it than to not. So what I can do is... I was going to build a shelf, but then I realized that's complex. I can't yet. I like this. Stockpile zone. Here. Here. Preferred. Clear everything. Except 
con Metal Singing. Let him eat his eggs first. Because having some medicine is a heck of a lot better than having none medicine. And I'd like to make another trading run, but I also got all this stuff that's going to go bad, so I might as well eat it. Or how much does this sell for? You know what? Alright, new plan. Yeah, yeah, I know it'll rot soon, but... I'm gonna clear our inventory a bit. And that still gives us what? Some jade? Wait. Cancel the jade. Cancel this whole thing. Uninstall this bedroll first. Now we do it. So what I'm going to do is trade all of this food that's going to go bad soon, before I can eat it, realistically. For, and these weapons are just taking up space. And my bedroll. I'm not trading the bedroll, but bring in the bedroll. And just a tiny bit of jade. And we're gonna go trade with our friends again. And this time we're gonna trade for some pen some penny cans. Something that'll last a bit longer than the food we've got. And by the time we get back, a lot of these potatoes will be done. We shouldn't be raided anytime soon, but hopefully these guys will still be here if we do. I also thought about letting them deal with a thrumbo, but I decided that wasn't very nice. Sell the eggs, sell the eggs. Sell everything with the bedroll, which I don't even think you'd buy. 500, okay. How much is that? That's we'll buy 240. Then a little more wood. Actually, I do have wood. I have a couple cactuses I can deal with, so maybe I won't take any more wood for right now. Stick to 240 pemmican, because that should be. More than enough. 260, yeah, I can't quite get that. So let's go 240. I guess I could sell the rice too. But the rice, I'd be selling that at a loss. Would let me get up to 260 though. But I don't think it's worth it. Keep that. Yeah, I'll keep the wood. I had death considered using the caravan to murder the thrombos, but that also wasn't a super well-armed caravan. They were pretty tribal, so didn't want to risk anything, but also, I don't need to. Dimitri's going to make it back here fine. Mm. 
And look at all that pemmican that we are going to immediately forbid. Because I want him to eat the rice first. And we still have more jade to trade if we need. <clears throat> so I think this is a good place to stop for the episode. It's actually a pretty exciting episode. I don't even think I had to pause once. But uh, we'll be back. Till next time, everyone take it easy. I just realized the thrombos ate the cactuses. Oh well, yeah, we'll be back. Until next time, take it easy.